That's what I've always heard the Misfits described as. It's like, it's like a infusion of rock, 50s rockabilly. And, yeah, yeah, it's fair. I don't know. So, like, kind of imagine that, but this is a our more, intro, by the way. Huh? This is but, the intro but a more video. melodic type of voice, you know? Yeah. Um, with, like, country okay. strings and, uh, you know, like, guitar and stuff thrown into it. Okay. So that's... That's Orville Peck. That's Orville Peck, yeah. All right, now he's a swirl of gothic and country. He is. And speaking of swirls, we got we got Mountain Dew Swirl. Infinite, Infinite swirl. swirl. That's an intro, right? Yeah, now. there you go. You 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 nailed it, Phil. Like, That's right. Way to go. All right, so hey, what's up, guys? I'm doing an intro for some reason. We're back. It's been a while since we've been together. It has been out of town. Yep. I haven't. And uh, I did what I could to make some videos while you're gone. You but. did. You you held it down. You held down the fort. You know we thank you for it because yes. I was at a place that you know a subculture. If I say these four infamous letters, will uh -oh. probably cringe and be like, "Oh my gosh, uh -oh. like not that place." But yeah, I was at JRTC. Uh -oh. So if you're part of that subculture, you know. If you know, you know. You, know, know, you know. Okay. I'll tell you I, know, what. I know a little bit because I'm obviously friends with him, but right. That's about but it. there was no infinite swirl no. at JRTC. There no. was an infinite amount of other stuff. Heat. Heat. Yep. Swamp. Mm -hmm. My underwear being wet that's, and socks. It, that's that's a swirl of heat and swamp. Is yeah. Then you got your underwear. And uh, anyway, the G Man, so yeah, was there in full effect. So um, let's get into this. this is Mountain Dew Infinite Swirl. This is exclusive to where 7 Eleven, and we don't really have 7 Elevens in our specific. We've done we've covered this a lot, right? Where we're at in Southeast Missouri, at the Southeast Missouri, there's not a lot of 7 Elevens. You go up north towards St. Louis, you will find some, they, they are there. But were you, were you in that area? Or were you somewhere else? Yes, I was. Yeah. So I got this at the 7 Eleven in Festus. Okay. And that so that's kind of always been uh, the 7-Eleven that's held near and dear to my heart because back in the day, I will say 7-Eleven used to be better back in the oh. day. Um, and the reason why is because I think they were more on their A game at around, you know, Vans Warped Tour emphasis stage <laughs> because they had my favorite slushie of all time, the Monster Black Ice. Amazing. Came in a really cool, like holographic container. That is sound cool. Um, and I, you know, I got that. And, was it a monster and, flavor? Yeah, it was like wow. a monster flavor, black ice or whatever. It was more kind of like a purple color, but Did it smell like the black tasted. ice air fresheners you put in your car. No, it smelled no. like original, okay. you know, green monster. Okay. But absolutely loved it. You know, drank it. That that's what got me to start pulling over at the Seven Eleven every time I went up to the St. Louis area. I'll say the the one thing I've always heard about Seven Elevens, which obviously I've only gone a few times when I've in St. Louis, was that they have a lot of food options that you mm -hmm. might not get at other places. Um, I don't know what they are because I've never gone at a time when they've had food available. Right. It's always late at night. I'm coming back. I mean, I think they're supposed to have it. I just didn't. Maybe right. I didn't look for it. But um, I don't know if it's hot dogs, pizza, or what. But yeah. He, so let us know what your favorite Seven Eleven item is. Well, and also if you agree with what I'm about to say, because what I may say is very could be polarizing, but to me, I think there is no competition. But QT mm -hmm. far superior to Seven Eleven now. I like think one QT is like what Seven Eleven was back in the early 2000s, but okay. then they took it to a whole nother level because um, they got their own exclusive stuff. Kind of like what we see with Casey's. I still prefer Casey's overall. But anyways, um, QT has, you know, pizzas and all sorts of different uh, types of, you know, food that's, you know, like not what you would think of gas station food like five years ago, you know. I will say Casey, well, QT, I think we had gotten an, uh, an exclusive Mountain Dew from there once, right? Was it a purple something or other? Purple. It, was, it Circle used to K. be exclusive. Circle K, never mind. Yeah. Anyway, put that aside. 7-Eleven, I will say, I was a little disappointed the ones I've been to because they uh, they weren't very clean. Right. Casey's, all the ones I've been to have been clean. Yep. Organized, clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so if you have a Casey's nearby, try it out. And if you've never been, try it out. 
So I was with some people from South Dakota, and they have Casey's all the way up there. Oh, I'm with, like surprised. Rapid City or whatever, South Dakota, yeah. and then Sioux Falls, and then of course you know the Sturgis area. Mm-hmm. So I was uh, pretty impressed that they made their way all the way up there. So. Okay. Well, but you know what? That's enough of us talking exactly. about. Let's try Let's this. get to the infinite swirl it's here. It's blue. It's got pineapple on the front. It does. Anything else it's got? Yeah, it's got pineapple. Basically a lot of pineapple references. Yep. yep. Lots of yep, pineapple or rocket pineapple with a shark face on it. So it's got to be swirling something. And it's looking... It's got the fruit stripe gum color. It does. It, so. but I don't think it has anything to do with it, but... It's, that's what it's got. It's, this will be better, right? Yeah. Here. It's yeah. got a pineapple warhead, you know, bomb. It's like a, coming out of the swirl. Honestly, you ever seen the sleeve that's on Billy Joe Armstrong's, like, right forearm <clears throat> where it has the Lego man on it? Is it, that? It, it reminds me of that type of art. Okay. That's what it reminds me of. Well, let's crack that open and get to it. Let's crack it open. It's They've been, been waiting. They're like, I'm sick of these guys talking. Yeah, I want to see. Uh, this. They say that about. They say that all the time. They're always saying that. I'm sick of these guys talking. Shut up and get to the drinking. I like the color. Yep. Blue is one of the best colors for a drink. Yeah. Because you know what they say: if it's blue, it's for you. So you can drink Windex if you want. So let's see what this. Mmm. It's got good. a uh, kind of like a. Baja Blast and uh, blueberry, yeah, like blueberry smell, kind of like the what is that? Voltage Mountain Dew okay. Voltage. So, it smells right. like a lot of recent Mountain Dews we've had. Cheers. Okay, I got some pineapple immediately. Yeah. It, yeah, but then it's like whatever the blue is snatched it back. It said, come back, pineapple. Ease up. Ease up a little bit. But it we're going to let some other guys take over a little bit. So, what is that? Blue Dew with a blast of artificial pineapple berry. Probably should have read that, but it's berry. Obviously berry. So, yeah, it's a berry, like a, a bl- blue or... <laughs> I don't know if I'm being influenced berry. by the color, but, you know, because berry could be a lot of things. But I'll say I this. It's like a... It's like a, more of a raspberry. It is good or, or though. Raspberry. Yeah, uh, rasp. I think in, you know, Southeast Missouri, we, we don't pronounce the P's whenever it's not the first letter. We say a lot of things weird around here. We do. People love our accents, so. <laughs> it's hard to place them for if you're not, and if you're not from here. But. Yeah, if I was 22 and in California, man. And, then what? <laughs> and never met my wife. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Remember, everybody loved our accents there whenever we were in Southern California. Problem is, I'm from South Carolina, so I had a, now I got a couple of problems going on. I got that mixed with some... Uh, me trying to, like, not have it. Anyway, not have it. Yeah. That's so a lot of, like, trying to... My, my ac- accent is the word everybody picks up on it when I go, accent. Right. And I stop myself and go, accent. <laughs> say it, accent. So I've, I've done a lot of work to pull a little of this of the accent away. Mm. It's still there. You just gotta let it out. But there's also be, it, it's a little self conscious. But like, oh, this be, guy's from the south. He's dumb. Well, now the world is all about being unique. So yeah. perfect time to let it all hang out. But um, I will say, like after like that first glass, you, it definitely has like the pineapple aftertaste too. So it's like yeah. pineapple intake. Then berry, mm-hmm. and then pineapple after It's swirling. So it's a swirl. Yeah. I, I think I, I get the whole infinite swirl name to it. Yeah. The pineapple is very uh, forward, mm-hmm. but it's not as strong as, say, um, the one that was at Dollar General. Oh, uh, yeah. The Baja. I can't remember what it was, but it's... Uh, that was a Baja very, Gold. Yeah, right? I think that was a very strong pineapple one. Yeah. they. I feel like they use pineapple a lot for do flavor. They do. It's kind of... I think... When it, Mountain Dew is a very citrus yep. uh, dominant soda, so putting pineapple in it, I mean, you kind of you, you can't really go wrong. Like yeah. you're not going to mess it up. They probably found that's one of the better ones that mixes when they, you know, probably right. for what their base level is. 
Okay, so nice. ranking this, I think the best thing to do is compare it to the OG, the original, Baja, Baja Blast. Would you rank it above or below it? That's interesting. I'm going to go... It's hard to beat original flavors. I'm yeah. going to go just below regular Baja Blast. That's it's not that far off. Surprisingly, that's where I'm at. Yeah, because it's this is good. This doesn't have that, like, a lot of the Mountain Dews we've had lately, um, they're strong, and it feels like, I don't really want to drink a whole bottle of this. It's good, right. but I don't want a whole, this I could see myself drinking a whole bottle. Yeah, it it definitely goes down smooth. It doesn't give me that feeling like it's going to be, I'm going to have a bellyache because of it, or yeah. bubble guts, yeah. but... Um, it doesn't feel like yeah, it's coating it does. your mouth with anything either, like some weird... Right. That's a weird way to put it. But, but yeah, it, it's it's good. It tastes good. It's definitely worth a try. Yep. To feel that infinite swirl of pineapple as That's it right. goes down your... Gullet. Gullet. There you go. I was trying we to hope you get pulled into the infinite swirl and lost into the land of dew. So try it out if you, can, if you have a 7-Eleven near you. Get on it before they, I don't know if they're going to pull it or what. I don't know. It's if hard not, to say. I'll try and find an Amazon link and I'll put it in the description below. Yep. That's and true. before we get too far and make this more infinite than what it needs to be, as always, I'm Andrew. And I was Phil. And we're out. Bye.